This product comes with a zip bag, a vacuum gauge, a T connector, a bend adapter, a user manual, and maintenance accessories. LA Tech VGW 760 features high accuracy anti oil pollution and easy maintenance. This product is calibrated professionally to ensure accuracy. The sensor uses filter protection to prevent oil and gas pollution. We use a vacuum gauge to test the system leak and discern vacuum pump quality of the evacuation. Now install the unit with the T-connector and the bend adapter. Press the power button. If there is no pressure reading and dashes appear, then the current pressure exceeds the range of the gauge. Connect to the refrigeration system and ensure hoses are locked. Open the vacuum pump and the gauge screen shows the real-time value of the vacuum. As with all HVA system instruments, cleaning and occasional maintenance should be conducted in order to ensure proper maintenance. The operation is simple. Remove the stainless nut, filter cotton, filter screen, and o-ring which are provided in the repair kit. Reverse the order to repack the gauge. Hi everyone, I have this new vacuum pump here I want to demonstrate for you. So it just came and I'm going to go ahead and open it up and check it out. Right off the bat we've got our user manual. It's nicely packed with high density foam. This weighs about 20 pounds altogether. And it is a <clears throat> two-stage vacuum pump. So this unit's very heavy duty, it weighs about 20 pounds and has a range of features here that I'll walk through with you. So right here on the top, you've got three different connections. There's a quarter inch flare connection, half inch Acme and three eighths inch SAE. So you can use this for a multitude of different uses, automotive, vacuum packing, uh, food processing and uh, HVAC systems, things like that. You've got uh, an oil filler right here on the top and an oil separator. This is a two-stage vacuum pump and uh, it also has a sight glass here so that you can ensure that you'll never run low on oil. The oil is the critical part here in the pump. And then you've got an oil drain plug down here as well to do an oil change as you might need. The motor is 110 volts uh, made for the US here and it is capable of producing five cubic feet per minute in a pump and will pull a vacuum up to 0.3 pascals. The motor itself is three quarter horsepower. So this has some rubberized feet on the bottom as well. So it will absorb the vibration. It's fairly quiet and has this nice carry handle here for convenience. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. You can listen to the motor run. Pretty quiet, well made again and very capable for a variety of jobs. When it comes to servicing your vehicle's refrigerant, the AC gauge and vacuum pump kit from Orion Motor Tech will help you get the job done quickly and effectively. A complete system which includes a powerful 3.5 CFM pump as well as all the gauges and fittings necessary to do the job right the first time. Hassle-free setup begins by first making sure your pump has been filled with the supplied oil. This step is critical as it will prevent damage to the pump. Next, remove the protective thread covers from the gauges and replace with the corresponding colored hose. The yellow hose gets inserted into the center valve. Take note to ensure that the hose is oriented properly, with the bent brass end going into the gauges as shown here. The hook allows you to hang the gauges in a convenient location for easy viewing. If necessary, refer to your vehicle's owner's manual to ensure the appropriate connection point for the hoses. The blue and red hose both come equipped with a color matched valve fitting that will be used to attach to your vehicle's AC lines. Ensure the valves are securely attached to their respective hose. After confirming the valves are in the closed position, attach each valve to its respective AC line. Once securely affixed, open each valve. Connect the yellow line to the vacuum pump, turn on the vacuum pump, and open the valve at the gauge. You'll see the needle drop as the system begins to work. Once your system is evacuated, shut down the pump and close the valves at the gauge. Disconnect the yellow line from the pump and attach to the appropriate refrigerant canister for your application. Once connected, open the valve at the canister, then the gauge, and sit back while your car's refrigerant is replaced. It's that easy. The AC gauge and vacuum pump from Orion Motor Tech, helping you get more life in your car.
Ilitech's Intelligent Digital Manifold LMG series integrates the measuring functions with pressure, temperature, vacuum, and pressure holding, providing users with more data to analyze and diagnose. It will greatly improve our on-site work efficiency. With the robust plastic housing, durable keys, and a large backlit LCD display, LMG products will be protected better and displayed more clearly. With two wired clamp temperature probes, it will be more convenient to measure the data. Before switching on the manifold, we should connect one end of the clamp temperature probe and refrigerant pipe to the instrument and connect the other end to the measured system. Switch on the instrument. It then enters PT mode. Before each measurement, press the zero key for three seconds to execute zeroing. The zero calibration will be done when the high and low pressure data become zero. Then press the left or right key to select refrigerant as you need. Switch on the manifold. The interface displays real-time temperature, pressure, and saturation temperature of high and low pressure sides. Press mode. Enter the superheating and subcooling submode and check their data. System performance is instantly analyzed. Press mode. Enter the temperature submode to check the difference of the real time temperature on pipe. Connect the high pressured side to the measured system. Open the high pressure valve. Meanwhile, connect the charging valve to the vacuum pump. Under the PT mode, Press the mode and right keys to enter the VAC measuring main mode. The timer starts timing and the current system pressure is shown in the high pressure display area. The current pressure vacuum value is displayed on the interface while pumping. Connect the high pressure side to the measured system. Close the high pressure valve. Under the VAC mode, Press the mode and right keys to enter the pressure holding measure mode. At this time, the real time pressure data is displayed on the high pressure side. Press the start pause key, the manifold switch to hold the pressure. The timer starts timing. The low pressure display area shows the initial pressure value while the high pressure display area shows the current pressure value. Delta P shows the pressure difference. After measuring the pressure holding for a while, press the start pause key. Terminate the measurement. The timer and delta P comes to zero. The current pressure value is displayed. In any mode, press and hold the mode key, then enter the set interface and press the left right keys to switch the temperature unit. Press the mode key then enter the pressure units set interface and press the left right keys to switch the pressure units we can use the left right keys to set the automatic switches off time as 5 10 15 30 and 60 minutes press the mode key switch to the temperature compensation setting interface press the left right keys to switch on and off